Hello everybody once again to another edition of One on One. This is Jason Schilke and today's audio is brought to you by Soul Electronics. Soul, power, clarity, comfort. Check them out, soulelectronics.com. And today I am joined by the undefeated prospect, Frankie Perez, who's going to be fighting at Ring of Combat 48 against Chris Way next month. Frankie, how are you doing today, my man? I'm good, I'm good. How are you doing? Hey, another beautiful day in paradise, my friend. Another beautiful day. So, awesome. So, first let's talk a little bit about you. You're undefeated as a pro. Um, you went. You had two amateur fights. Uh, you lost one of those. Um, how's your experience in MMA been so far? Uh, it's been great. I had uh, actually nine amateur fights. I lost oh. two. I lost two. The internet uh, lies. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, MMA has been great to me so far. I lost my first fight ever, and my last uh, amateur fight, I got robbed out in Ohio. But, you know, comes to the territory. is my fault, you know, and uh, M- MMA has been great to me. It's my life. It's my job. It's all I do. So um, so, so MMA is all you do. You just train, um, train, fight, teach? Yeah, train, fight, teach all week, and then uh, I own a DJ company on the weekend, so... Nice. So, so even if you're not fighting, you still have a nice, cool, laid-back job. Yeah, I'm always doing something, man. I can't. I mean, there's a lot of fighters out there just train and fight. I can't do that, man. I got to be busy all the time. Like, for instance, right now I'm at a, uh, I'm at a an event right now that my little sister's actually fighting at, and um, it's a kickboxing show, and I did all the production work over here and stuff like that. So. Nice man, and and if and and um, this is your sister's first fight, correct? Yeah, first kickboxing fight. I'm pretty uh, pretty pumped about it. Pretty excited, uh, but I'm I'm holding everything inside. I just want to see her do good. Now, I was actually going to ask you, um, how does it feel with you being a fighter, watching your little sister get inside the you know get inside the ring? Are you like nervous? Are you scared or confident? Um. I'm a little bit of everything, man. You know, it's my sister kind of does her own thing. You know, um, she's she's with a different camp. She trains out of Kurt Pellegrino's, and I really didn't want to step on her toes at all because um, I know she's got a great camp under her and, and great coaches. So when she comes and asks for advice, I give it to her. But otherwise, I let her do her own thing. She's she's grown. She lost thirty pounds for this fight. She looks great. She's in great shape. You know, and uh, just hopefully, uh, I'm excited. I'm confident. Um, cause I know she's tough and she can take a punch, you know, but, um, I just, hopefully she gets hit really hard one time that she'll never want to fight again. So <laughs> I want her to win. She's definitely going to win. There's no other option, you know, in our house. That's what all we think about is victory, but, um, hopefully she doesn't want to do it again, man. It's, it's I, I love what I do. I, I would never exchange it for any kind of lifestyle ever, but I definitely, I don't recommend it. <laughs> well, definitely, uh, behalf on everybody at the MMA Corner, we definitely wish your sister the best of luck tonight, and hopefully she does get tagged that one time and gets the victory and gets out so Big yeah. Brother can keep his sanity. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. So, now, now let's move on to your fighting career. Now, how'd you get started in MMA? Because, I mean, you're still a fairly young guy, and... Yeah, so... I, I never heard about MMA, ever. Um... I went to some fights that my buddy couldn't go to. He gave me tickets for me and my dad. He's like, oh, go check it out. I can't go anymore, whatever. Uh, and I saw the fights, and actually one of my teammates, uh, Dante Rivera, was the main event. And um, I saw from the first fight to the to the last fight. I loved it. And uh, I found a, a coach that night through a mutual friend and started training the next day. And nine years down the road, I'm still training. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hear you. So... Yeah. And it's paid off so far because you're undefeated as a professional. Um, now, coming up on the next card, you find Chris Wade. Um, what do you know about him? I know he's a, uh, a tough uh, wrestler coming out of Long Island with a little bit of kickboxing experience. Uh, we fought on the same car a bunch of times. You know what I mean? I've seen him fight uh, plenty of times. He fought one of my teammates, Ozzy. He ended up uh, losing to him. Um, He's a tough kid, man. You know, uh, we're both humble, we're both great, we're both young, and we're both ready to get after it. You know, so May 16th is going to be a, a hell of a night. You know, and uh, uh, I, I can't wait. I'd fight tomorrow if I could. 
<laughs> now, you said that he has a really good grappling background, and obviously five of your eight wins have come by submission, so it's safe to say you got a pretty sick ground game yourself. Do you foresee this as a ground battle, or is it going to turn into, you know, what we've, you know, starting a tendency in MMA where where you have two really good ground guys and they just stand and bang for three rounds? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. He's got, he from his last fights, man, all he wants to do is take guys down and beat them up on the ground. But, I mean, I don't know. If he wants to stand, I'll be ready to go. If he takes me down, I'll be ready. Like, I'm not, I don't have an ego as far as say he's not going to take me down like he takes everybody else down. It's got, if it happens, it happens. You know what I mean? Um, nothing I can really say about it. But if it gets ta- if I get taken down, I'll be ready. If I don't get taken down and we stay standing, I'll be ready for that too. You know what I mean? And right. uh, whatever, wherever it goes, wherever it goes. Uh, I mean, I have the best coaches in the world preparing me, so I'll, I'll be ready May 16th. Now, is there anything specific that you and your team are working on for this fight, or is it just business as usual in camp? Uh, I mean, we watch tape, you know, um, with, with Chris, you don't have to watch too much tape to get, uh, to, to realize what he's trying to do and his game plan, you know what I mean? But, um, we watch tape, but, uh, I, I, for the longest time since I was an amateur, I, I always go into fights with my own way of doing things. Like he's got to stop me instead of me trying to go in there and worry about him. You know what I mean? So right. I'm really just trying to become a, a, a better sharpened, um, Frankie Perez than I've ever been, you know, and May 16th, you're going to see a, a whole new animal um, coming in there. Now, f- from from all the people I've talked to, um, you're a pretty highly touted prospect right um, at this point in time. Um, do you have do you have any goals moving f- as you move forward into your in, uh, within your career or are you just kind of taking it one fight at a time and seeing what develops? I mean, <clears throat> I'm, I always take it one fight at a time. I don't think I never look past anybody or, or think too far ahead because um, I learned a long time ago you can't put a, a, a time on life, you know, and you can't make schedules for life. You know what I mean? You got to just let things happen. Um, but the goal is, you know, my, my goal is this. I'm treating this like my uh, UFC ticket. You know what I mean? This is getting in the UFC. I beat Chris Wade, you know, and uh, I can get in the UFC, and then my next goal is to be a lightweight champ, you know what I mean? There is, this is this is what I've chosen to do, you know, this is my life, so uh, I'm willing to sacrifice whatever I have to sacrifice to get there. Right on, my man. Now, so, you're a fighter, you're a trainer, you're a DJ, you keep yourself really busy. Now, when, whenever you do have some free time, what do you like? You know, what do you like to do? What do you? What are your hobbies? You know, are you? Are, a lot of the fighters I talk with, they're gamers. You know, they they like to play on you know Xbox, PS4, things like that. Is that your kind of deal, or do you just not have enough free time to to pursue any other hobbies? Nah, man. I'm really. I've never been really into video games. I've been to like four video games my whole life, and when I beat them, I was done. You know, I was never. I was never into like Mad. Like I played Madden or whatever, but I never got into it crazy like some of my friends do. You know, um, on my free time, man, I like to just hang out with my friends. Now it's getting warm out, so we'll get you know some catch games of basketball and stuff like that, or um, whatever. I mean, I'm down for whatever. I'm pretty easy going. You know what I mean? Go walk the boardwalk. Go for a run. Just, Hang out, relax. Sleep is great. Um, <laughs> oh, it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, but that's it, man. I mean, really, on my off time, either I'm I'm always working, but like really on my off time, I'm just hanging out with my family and just relaxing. Right on, my man. Now, um, before we um, start to wrap things up, what is your prediction for your fight? Uh, my prediction, May sixteenth, is my hand raised the new, the new lightweight. Uh, ring combat champion and uh, the next alumni to go in the UFC. Well, you heard it here first, Frankie Perez. He's going to be the next ring of combat champion and he's going to be making that step on the UFC. So, and one more thing for people that that are not following you on Twitter, how can they do that? Yeah, follow me on Twitter at uh, Team Frankie Perez or Team Frankie P on Twitter. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, it's Team Frankie Perez. Um, catch me up there. I'm always updating stuff on Facebook, on Instagram about my camp and uh, all my training partners and everything. Um, big shout out uh, if I can. Oh, absolutely. I'm uh, yours, man. To my to my whole team: Ricardo Almeida, Mark Henry, Brian Blue at All Star, Elite Wrestling, Zeke, 
um, all my training partners. And uh, actually, our team's got uh, – we're ready. The, the train has started. I fought in January. I won. Marlon Moraes just won a world title. We got Akira Corasani fighting Wednesday. Edson Barbosa fighting Saturday. We got um, Max Bohannon making his pro debut the same night I fight. Um, and we also have uh, Dante Rivera fighting uh, in Bellator. And um, we also have Frankie Edgar, the last of the, the Iron Army train, the captain, uh, fighting BJ Penn for the third time. So big shout out to everybody that's uh, helping me and the whole team. Well, Frankie, it's definitely a pleasure having you um, on here. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope we can do it again. Oh, yeah. Thanks, man. Thank you for having me. It was a great, great pleasure. All right, my man. We'll look forward to uh, your fight May 16th. 16th. Okay, I was a day off. <laughs> Once again, Frankie Perez, thank you so much. No problem, brother.